Okay. Okay. So what I want to start off with initially is the PowerPoint related to the online learning plan. Okay. So I want you all to go ahead and I have posted it on It's Learning under resources. So it should have um, the unit, the date, objective, the TEKS, resources, the bell ringer. So resources and the bell ringer go hand in hand. So let's say if I have an assignment up to the right, it's going to just pretty much give an explanation what I would like for you to do for that date. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with that first resource, the online schedule. And I'm going to briefly go over this. This has been shared by the district. And this is what I'm going to be following with my classroom. So let's go ahead and start with that second PowerPoint. It's called Asynchronous and Synchronous. I want to give you all just a heads up or a little bit more information on what that means. So we, have, we will be meeting as a class two different ways. So we have a synchronous days. Synchronous days are when we are working like this. We are all in sync with each other. We will have access to each other. We will be able to talk with each other. We will be able to learn and help each other. And this is a method that our school really wants for us to use. But of course, some days we're not gonna meet synchronous, synchronously all every day. And so those days that we aren't meeting synchronously, those are called asynchronous days. Asynchronous is pretty much how y'all did your learning last quarter or quarter four. So asynchronous, it's going to be self-paced. You will have the time from 9 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. to work on whatever I have listed under resources. And you will need to pretty much submit that work by or before 11.59 p.m., okay? And this will be daily if, if we do an asynchronous class. So I just want to give you all a heads up that tomorrow we will be meeting synchronously. So we will be meeting once again together um, as a class um, for our first day of lecture, okay? So let's just go ahead and go over the, the plan that our school has set forth or the district. So from eight o'clock to 9.25, this is when you will have your independent work. And if teachers are available, we will be available to answer any questions. It's kind of the way we did, um, had our morning rounds. And sometimes teachers may be in meetings. So I may be in a meeting with the a &P department or with the HST department. It depends on what, who would like to meet with me or us that day. So just give me a heads up on that. First period is from 9.30 to 10.30. Second period is from 10.40 to 11.40, okay? So just a heads up, those are the hours that we will be meeting. And um, third period or lunch actually is from 11.40 to 12.40. Third period is 12.45 to 1.45. Fourth period, 1.55 to 2.55. And then you have the student support. So this is kind of like essentially after school tutorials or just if you have any questions because I know there, there will be questions and please don't be afraid to ask, okay? And just keep in mind that we are all learning from this. This is new to everyone. This is new to you. This is new to me. This is new to the entire district. So just please keep an, an open mind on the, the newness of this. Okay, so we all need to be patient and understanding when, let's say, things don't go um, the way you expected it to. Okay, and Let's go ahead and look at that third slide under the online schedule. So this is how I will be conducting my class. So um, it shows a 60 minutes, so we'll be meeting for 60 minutes. And so those first 10 minutes, I want you all to be working on a do now. So class starts at 1040. By 1040, I want you all to log on to my class. And I want for you to access um, the daily do now. It will be under resources, okay? So who here is not familiar with daily do nows? Just go ahead and raise your virtual hand if you have not heard of do nows. Okay, so in my classroom, this is what we do in our actual classroom. So you'll walk into the classroom, you'll get situated, and I'll have something up on the screen. So this is actually going to be virtual, of course. So I'll have three questions on that daily do now. So 
it may be what does the term cardi mean or what does the term itis mean and i want Brielle to just answer those in complete and grammatically correct sentences and the reason why i want for y'all to practice um practice writing in complete and grammatically correct sentences is that i know we are not an english class or a writing class but the way you write is very important and it's going to help you as you get older and let's say when you go to cite your senior year. So um, just practice writing like that and talking like that um, from here on out. So um, it's going to be three posed questions and I just need for you to answer them in complete sentences. And of course, not all of us are going to know the answers. So if you do not know the answers, I don't want for you to put, I don't know. I want you all to try your best estimated guess. So let's say I pose a question and you don't know. You could just give your understanding of it. And I don't want you all to be embarrassed. No one's going to read this, these but me. And these daily do nows and exit tickets will serve as a daily grade. Okay. I may, it may be cumulative for the week. It may be an independent. Let's say I decided to take a daily grade tomorrow on your do now. So that will be spontaneous. So just make sure to try your best and answer in complete grammatically correct sentences. Okay. Do so I have any questions related to the do now? Just raise your virtual hand. Okay, no questions. All right, so that was the PowerPoint, the first PowerPoint that I posted for online learning. The second one is our welcome PowerPoint. So I want you all to access that, please. And this is um, an introduction to our class and also class expectations and procedures for this online learning. Okay. So as I explained earlier, the synchronous days and asynchronous. So once again, we will be meeting tomorrow as a synchronous class. So um, I want you all to log on probably five minutes prior to our actual actual meeting time. So class begins at, um, I'm sorry, 1040 for you all. So maybe around 1035 if your uh, first period teacher lets you out early, just go ahead and log on to Zoom. Make sure that everything's working. Make sure your microphone, your camera, your laptop, iPad, whatever you're using is working for that day. And um, if it is not, please just communicate with me. Let me know, Ms. Garcia. Um, my internet's not working today, my laptop's not working, um, et cetera. It's just, it's good to um, communicate with myself that way I have an understanding and just won't assume that you're just missing out for the day, okay? So for synchronous classes, once again, I, I would like for you all to log on at 10.35, start on the do now, and then join our Zoom session, okay? So, when you are on Zoom, so this is going into etiquette and how we treat each other. So I do want for all to treat each other with respect. And just a heads up that the administrators at our school, so these are the principals, counselors, assistant principals, they do have access to our Zoom meeting. So they could pop in anytime, pretty much the way that they did at school. They could do that in our virtual classroom. So I just want for y'all to please be courteous to our, our visitors and to your fellow classmates and to myself at um, during our class meeting, okay? And netiquette. So netiquette is pretty much etiquette when you are online. So once again, this means being courteous to each other and to respect each other. And we, I will not accept any foul language at all in this classroom. So I just want to give a heads up that we will be meeting, um, we will be having breakout sessions, not today. Um, I'm on, it's not allowing me to do that today, but we will be having breakout sessions. So I want Bill to know that I have access to jump into whoever's breakout session that I want to. And I want to make sure that you are on task, that you are talking appropriately, appropriately to each other and working on the assigned topic that I give you, okay? Um, once again, no use of slang in the Zoom or the chat room. I do have full access to 
all of the chats, even the private chats. So make sure that you are not talking about anything inappropriate as I do have access to that, okay? And once again, no misuse of hand gestures. We all are uh, virtual, so I do have access to how I see you um, on the Zoom meeting, so just please be um, mindful of that. And this one is a biggie. Everyone must be dressed um, properly. So I'm not expecting you to dress in business attire, but I want you to make sure that you are dressed appropriately. So no, um, for males, no shirts off. For females, nothing too revealing. You wanna make sure pretty much the way you address to school is how I would like to see you here on Zoom. And just make sure it's appropriate and keep in mind that I have, I could see the way you're dressed as well as anyone who decides to pop into this meeting, okay? To have any questions right now, raise your virtual hand. Okay, no questions, let's continue. So as far as it comes to Zoom, everyone must be prompt. So after you finish your Zoom now, you'll be logging on. To Zoom. Once again, no foul play or language or hand gestures on this um, on the site as I do have access and I am recording. And the way I would like real to do it in the future is I need for everyone's video to be on. So just the way my video is on, you're not looking at a blank screen. I want for y'all's video to be on. Okay. Um, so just please keep in mind and let your family members know whoever is at your house that you are in class and just make sure um, that they are appropriate and they're dressed appropriate. And I know sometimes, sometimes it may be chaotic, but just give them a heads up, hey, I have class, I'm gonna be in school. Please make sure just to be on your best behavior, okay? And so once again, I do want for y'all's videos to be on. And I do want for y'all to sign in um, with your first name and last initial. So. For example, my name is Miriam Garcia. I'm gonna sign Miriam G, and that's how I will be logging on to the Zoom sessions, okay? And as I mentioned earlier, when you log on to Zoom, you will be automatically um, muted. So we just want to make sure that none of the volumes interfere with each other, and it, it tends to cause a lot of noise. So I just want to eliminate all of that. And if you do have a question, make sure to just raise your virtual hand. And once I acknowledge you, then you could go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question, okay? All right, any questions right now? Raise your virtual hand for any question. Okay, so how do we raise our virtual hand? So, um, it's different on your know, laptop and an um, iPad and so forth. So I want you all to go to, let's see. I don't know if it's, let's see. I don't know if it says meeting settings. on your end. On the bottom of your screen, there should be three little dots. Um, just go ahead and click on that. And it gives you two um, capabilities to raise a hand, or I believe um, send like a clapping emoji. Once again, I'm on an iPad. This is my first time on an iPad. So it's a little bit different for me. Um, does, would anyone like to explain to Patricio how to raise your virtual hand? Oh, Sydney said in reactions. Thank you, Sydney. Okay, 
So do I have any other questions? Okay, let's go ahead and continue. So once again, quantum rules, I do expect for y'all to be punctual. And Brandon, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and get to that in just a little bit. So punctuality um, is mandatory. So I do expect for punctuality and participation in this class. And this one is a biggie, no sleeping. I know that y'all are at home. It's a place of complacency and comfort, but I do want for y'all to know that you are at school. So I do expect for y'all to be, um, I want for y'all to find a comfortable place, but also a place that will enhance learning or invite learning. So um, an office or your bedroom. Also, if you don't have a desk, I you can go on your bed, I just want to make sure that y'all aren't lying down and too comfortable to where it's going to invite sleepiness, okay? So once again, just in a comfortable environment and just make sure that you are sitting up straight and that you're ready to learn, okay? Any questions? Okay, once again, no vulgar language, negative or condescending words. If I, let's say I give y'all a breakout room and I hear that and, um, I know a lot of you have good friends in classes and the way that you treat each other is kind of bashing each other. But in this class, I'm going to assume that y'all aren't best friends and it's those are hurtful words. So if I do hear that and they are negative words, though, so those are cold put downs, I'm going to expect y'all to give some put ups to that person on the receiving end of those negative words, okay? Let's see, any questions? Okay. So absences, next is absences. So I can't stress enough class that communication is huge with me. So if you keep in communication with me, I will make accommodations with you, okay? It's super easy, just let me know, reach out to me on it's learning messages or through my email. And let's say you're going to be absent from Monday through Thursday, just Send me a message, notify me, Miss Garcia, I'm going to be absent. Can you please let me know what I'm going to miss? And I will um, make accommodations for that, okay? So make sure just communication is key. It's very important to me. If you do not notify me, let's say it's a family emergency and you can't get to me at that moment, just make sure to message me sometime when you have the availability to do so, okay? Because if not, I'm just going to assume that you weren't responsible that day and I will not make accommodations. So just make sure to communicate. Communication is key with me, okay? So if you are absent, just give me a heads up. If you are going to be late, give me a heads up. If your electronics aren't working, give me a heads up. Just make sure to communicate with me, okay? Uh, when you are absent, let's say you do give me a heads up, Ms. Garcia, I'm gonna be absent Monday and Tuesday. I will give you seven days to make up the work on the, the day you return. So let's say you're absent Monday and Tuesday, you return on Wednesday. I'll give you up until the following Wednesday to submit your pending work, okay? Let's say you are absent and you don't notify me all of those days, there will be a zero in the gradebook and you will not be able to make that up, okay? So once again, I cannot stress enough, communication with me is very important. Do I have any questions? Let's go ahead and continue. Class dismissal is kind of the way that I do it in class. We will close a session and then I'll let y'all know y'all are dismissed or have a wonderful day and, and whatnot, okay? And if you prematurely leave the Zoom session, I do need for you to notify me. So maybe before the Zoom even starts, Miss Garcia, I have a dentist appointment. I need to log off early and so forth. This is for a synchronous class meeting, so the way we're meeting today. Okay. Grading rubric. So we are going to have, it's gonna be a little bit different. You are going to have a major assessment, minor assessment, and your daily work. Major assessments, these are going to be exams. They're going to count for 50% of your grade. 
Then you have your minor assessments. Um, these are going to be 30%. So for example, a project or something, a category that I will tell you, this is a minor assessment. I will let you know um, the, which category it is. And then we have our daily grades or daily work, which will count for 20%. And these are the daily do nows, an exit ticket, let's say any homework that I assign. These will be under the daily work, okay? I do want to let y'all know that we may possibly have spontaneous quizzes. So when I do assign homework, make sure not to take it lightly. I do expect y'all to do homework and come prepared the next day as we will be continuing on and um, with our work. Okay, any questions? Okay. Let's see. There's a question, what happens if we miss your class but we complete your work? So Patricio, when that happens, just go ahead and submit your work. So you'll have um, from 9 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. to submit that work, okay? And once again, if you have a question on Zoom, make sure to raise your virtual hand or you can type in the chat box. So that way we could all see, or I could see and then I could answer your question. Okay, so going back to Brandon's question. So I want for y'all to access your It's Learning and go ahead and go to Plans. And under Resources, this is going to show all the information that I want for y'all to do for the day, okay? So on the left, it's going to be Resources. On the right is going to be an explanation of those resources. So I have the Welcome PowerPoints. And then I have also posted the syllabus. So please go ahead and give the syllabus a gander and make sure if you have any questions, just to message me and let me, or let me know your question. And we're gonna go ahead and get into the fun part. So the second to the last resource, it says design your own virtual locker. So this is where I want for you all to get creative. So if you have a Bitmoji, I want for you to insert it there. Once again, make sure your Bitmoji is appropriately dressed. We are going to be professional in this classroom, okay? And I want for us to just share anything, any fun or funny thing that you would like to share. So let's say, um, let's say you made it to Hosea State last, um, last school year. You can maybe put a little banner of Hosea. Or let's say you do training, equestrian training, so a little horse or you love cupcakes, or you love pizza, just anything that you would like to share with me that you really enjoy, I want y'all to put on that in that virtual locker, okay? And lastly, under resource, that's going to be for homework, that virtual locker. And your second assignment for homework, um, and I've already received some from other students, is the assignment, I wish my teacher knew. So I have the directions there, and for I wish my teacher knew, once again, I expect for y'all to write in correct, grammatically correct sentences. And I want for y'all to share anything with me there. So a fun fact about yourself, or let's say you have a medical condition. I want for you to please share that with me. This will only be seen for my eyes. It's gonna be kept private and it, it's gonna get, help me have a better understanding about yourself. So let's say you do have a medical condition and let's say you have a colostomy bag or that maybe you have cancer. I, I would please like to know that. That way I could um, make some accommodations for you and just, um, it's just nice to be on that level. Um, that way we could just continue on successfully with the school year, okay? But if you don't have any medical conditions, just go ahead and share any fun fact about yourself. Once again, make sure it's appropriate and in grammatically correct sentences. And so those are your two assignments for homework. Do I have any questions related to your homework for today? Okay, so just summarizing everything. Um, once again, make sure to use Netiquette, not just in my classroom, but in all of the classrooms. No negative talk, no foul language, no negative gestures. Make sure you're dressed appropriately. Make sure to give a heads up to your family members. Make sure that they're dressed appropriately. And um, when we meet in synchronous days, we're going to have access to see pretty much everyone. So you want to make sure everything is appropriate. 
Um, let's see, I have a question from Brandon. Will you print out the locker and put stuff on it and then send it to you? Yes, you may. So however you'd like to do it, it's actually on Google Slides. So you could do it virtually on your computer if you'd like to print it and just um, you uh, manipulate it, you may do that as well. You could also save it as a PowerPoint and send it to me like that. So you could send it to me on It's Learning or my personal email. Once again, my email is Miriam, M-I-R-I-A-M dot Garcia, G-A-R-C-I-A at stisd.net. So that's pretty much for every teacher at mid-high. It's going to be their first dot last name at stisd.net. Okay. And so once again, tomorrow we will be meeting synchronously. So make sure um, class or first period starts at 9.30 to 10.30 and our class starts at 10.40. So at 10.40, I want you all to log on and um, log on to It's Learning, do your daily do now. You're gonna take about 10 minutes. And then after that, I want you all to log on to Zoom, okay? So we'll be meeting synchronously. We will start on the body queens and the anatomical position, okay? So we're just gonna get acquainted with the different positions and planes of the body. That way we have a better understanding when we continue on into chemistry and tissues and for cells and tissues and so forth. Okay. Do I have any questions? Okay, so just once again, keep in mind my classroom rules. I have everything posted on It's Learning. And once again, communication is huge for me. So if you communicate with me, I will make accommodations for you. If you do not communicate with me, I will assume that you um, don't care and don't want to learn. So make sure to please communicate with me, okay? All right, so if you don't have any more questions, y'all have a wonderful morning and welcome back. Y'all have a good one.